In this session, we're going to look at how we can link Microsoft Office content into a Civil 3D drawing. As you can see, I'm in Microsoft Word. Right here, I've got some landscaping notes. I'd like to incorporate this text into my Civil 3D file. So I'll copy all the text to my clipboard, and then I'll return to Civil 3D. From here, I'll access the clipboard functionality, and I'll choose Paste Special. I'd like to paste this as a link. We're going to paste it as a Microsoft Word document. I'll click OK. This way, if the Word document changes, it'll update here in Civil 3D as well. Now that I've placed the object, I'd like to change the text height. If I right click, I can come down to OLE and choose text size. This is how we can translate the text from Microsoft Word, the heights, uh, to an appropriate height in Civil 3D. After I've changed my heights, uh, this uh, document is just like any other object. I can take and move it. I'm going to move this into position. I can then zoom in. Now we can see there's a boundary around it. If we want to hide that, there is a system variable, OLE frame. Currently that's set to 2, which means it won't plot. Uh, but if you wanted to hide it from screen, you can see if we set that to 0, it'll, uh, it'll hide. Now what if the Microsoft Word document changes? Since it's linked, in here if I make a change and save it, and then return to Civil 3D, you can see those changes are reflected in the Civil 3D environment as well. So very easy to link a Microsoft Word document. Next we're going to look at linking some Microsoft Excel content. Here I've got a planting list. You can see the boundaries of this table is from approximately cell C3 to G20. Let me go to Civil 3D. From here I'm going to go to the link data feature. I'd like to create a data link to that Excel document. I'll give the link a name. I'm going to call it planting list and then I will browse for a file. We'll select the planting list that we just looked at. I will then uh, type in my range. I'm going to set this C3 to G20. And once my data link is finished, I'll come down and click OK. Now I can create a table. I'll launch the table command and say I'd like to create the table from the data link. I'll choose planting list and I'll click OK. I am now holding that table from my cursor and I can place that into the drawing. As you can see, it retains the same formatting that we had in Microsoft Excel. Now this is better than an OLE object. This is actually an AutoCAD table, so I have access to grips. I can change the formatting of this table to suit my needs if I want to. Let's zoom in. Now what if the data in Excel changes? I'm going to jump over to Excel, and since this is a link, we'll, we'll make a little change here. I'll, I'll change the uh, tree name, we'll add the word test, and I'll save the document, and then when I close Excel, you can see that Civil 3D is telling me the data link has changed. All I have to do is click the hyperlink, and it rereads the data, and I can see the updated content. Now if I click in a cell, notice the padlock icon. That shows me that this data is locked. If I right click in the cell, I can go to the locking feature and choose unlocked, that takes the padlock away. Now I have access to this text, so I can go the other direction. I can change the contents here and update the Excel document. So once again, I'm changing this tree name again. I will then select the table, and then I've got a really long menu here, so I'll right click at the top of the screen, and I'll choose Write Data Links to External Source. That just updated the Excel document, which then gave me the data link has changed uh, message again. Just for a second, we'll go back to Microsoft Excel and we'll open up that document and when the planting list comes up we can see the changed tree name right there.